Do data centers with too much mayonnaise here? I am General Smalls. I am not exactly a military man. I have been trained as a police officer. I also have a personal theory that Keanu Reeves needs to be arrested. That man can't be trusted. Don't ask me exactly why. There are a lot of reasons. It's just difficult to put into words. Still, I plan to capture this man and bring him in. Mr. Reeves must be a... Mr. Reeves must be apprehended and silenced for the good of us all. That's great, Dad. But can we do something fun this weekend? I only see you a couple times a month. Cobra. I'm your son. <laughs> I thought you were Cobra Commander. <laughs> I'm just a little version of you. We're going hunting, Yo-Yo. We will be hunting down Keanu Reeves. The internet says he's in Costa Rica. Filming John Wick visits the Matrix by a phone booth. Then take some pictures and put an ad on Twitter. Because we're selling this house. Later in Costa Rica. <clears throat> so what you're telling me is when you put ketchup on the top of this hot dog, the flavor will mix with the relish you already put on the top of this hot dog, and the combination of both of these added foods will make the whole hot dog taste like something different than it would have when it was just a plain hot dog? Yeah. Well then, sir, I demand you make this hot dog delicious. Okay, there you go. Whoa. Would you like any mustard? What? There's something else you can put on top of this hot dog? Look out, Keanu Reeves. There's a giant net about to fall on you. Wait a second. I'm still contemplating mustard. Hey, man! You got net in my hot dog. Did I just see Keanu Reeves getting carried off in a giant net? Yeah, he was all about to get some mustard. But all he got was abducted. And abducted people never pay for hot dogs. That does it. I'm pressing the bounty hunter button. I'm the bounty hunter. Farewell, Frank. Keanu Reeves was nabbed by a giant net. And he nabbed my hot dog. Hmm. Probably that General Smalls and his son, Yo-Yo. Here I go. About to start bounty hunting. Bow Wow Frank meets our tracker going from here sometimes on the way to there. Gonna get that further, snatch that foot long. It doesn't matter, doesn't even matter if he's got mustard at all. No if mustard! he's still a sausage, he'll, he'll steal your freedom. It's Bow Wow Frank, Tuesday Hunter. Bow Wow Frank, hot dog cop. Hot dog cop. Bow Wow Frank is my hot dog hobby. And he's taken in both loves and Lincoln Nabbers in his day. It don't matter if they're movie star, rock star, or hot star. <laughs> Bow Wow Frank's gonna take all wolf snatchers down and bring their mother houses in. You got that right, Six Pumpkin. We gotta get this Keanu Thieves before he take a single bite of that sucking up meat cylinder. By the sweet lamb of God, I swear it shall be done. We got relief on this butt cruncher. Beep, 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 beep. My tip line is blowing up. We gotta catch this Tango Greaves. 
You better not be in that mother ass and kangaroo, Bow Wow. Last time we chased one of them, I had to shoot a lot in a whole bunch of different places. <laughs> Haven, yes, but hell no. SP, this Kino sleaze, that Nino Matrix, Matrix, Matrix. <laughs> this is Kino sleaze, that Nino Mattress movie guy. Nino Mattress movie. Yeah, don't you remember? He played Nino in the mattress. Oh, that Kugo Weaver. That's the other guy from the mattress. They had to hire him several times so they could get multiple <laughs> ones of him. <laughs> you so dumb, you're smart. You know that that well? There ain't no possible way I could. Ha ha ha! I've done it! I have trapped the piano. I'm dead. At last, we can have some movies without him in them. <laughs> Dad! Maybe one of these new young actors can get a chance in the movies. Now to get Timothy Shadowman. Dad! What? <laughs> Why are you interrupting my happy time? Keanu Reeves has escaped. What? How? He got a hole in the net with a hot dog. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe I got out of that net. And it's all thanks to you, Mr. Hot Dog. Or are you a Mrs. Dog? I don't mean to assume. What was that? <laughs> Mr. or Mrs. Hot Dog? Oh, yeah. I guess you're just a food item. No, you're not just any food item. Why, you're a pretty awesome hot dog. The future belongs to Generation Z, and we aren't going to allow you extras to pollute our world with your demon meat industries. Kill it! No way! Youth culture just killed my dog! That computer's on fire! I had a difficult time getting my wife to sleep, but finally I've stoked the fire, fed the dog, and I'm reading my book. What did he do to his wife? Keep reading. But Leopold Klutz would never do anything bad to Colonel Lady. He's a good Nebraska boy from 1955. People did funny things in Nebraska back then. Quiet, dog. Don't call me that. Keep reading. I looked at the beast with disdain. I imagined all the things he must be thinking of me and the plans he had for me once I dreamt again of Nana Topaz. Would he eat me piece by piece? Mayhaps. But until then, I had game shows to finish. Roby, this is all over the place. What about Colonel Lady? Why isn't he dreaming of her? Nana Topaz didn't even meet Leopold until after the Persimmon War. You'll have to keep reading and stop talking to me! Whoops! Spilled coffee all over your manuscript. Full human! Why do you do these things to me? You shouted at me. I jumped. I'm calling your mom. <gasps> no! I'm coming. Hold on to your toots, impish little tea drinkers. Hello? Yes? What in the world can you want? It's a Roby, your son's dog. I'm calling about your quim. He just beat all over my new book. I did not pee on anything, Mom. Spilled my coffee on it. Calm down, Roby. Don't you have it saved on a computer somewhere? In the cloud? Yes. It's just 
I mean, he never respected my talent. It's it's not like I'm saying I'm the greatest writer in the world or anything, but but you're a gifted author, Roby. Thank you for saying that. I'm not just saying it. I love your books. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Most of the time I feel like I'm just a dog. You are a dog, Roby. But you're also a very talented writer. Well, maybe the world hasn't realized that yet. But it doesn't mean your work isn't important. It's just a very difficult world out there. And it's getting more and more difficult for good talent to get the credit it deserves. What are you talking about? You know how I used to work in my ceramics? Oh, I remember. You really should get back into that. I really don't have it in me anymore. It takes a lot of work. And I don't have the same connections I once had. But I love your ceramics. I can see the passion you put into it. Well, thank you, Roby. But that's what I'm saying about your stories. It's important that you put that work and passion into what you do. Maybe not everybody will notice it. But you should keep at it anyway. You have to put all your passion into everything you do. You have to. I need to pee. Thank you, Myrtle. You're right. I will keep at it. I'm glad I gave you a call. Roby, you can call me any time. Why don't you send me what you've been working on? I'd love to read some more of your work. That paper mill mystery was masterful. Ah, oh, thank you. I will. It was nice talking to you again, Marcel. Bye, Roby. Bye. Jerk. Give me the manuscript. I'm giving it to your mother. Your mom. But Roby never did get around to sending the manuscript to Martha. He wanted to make a few changes before he sent it, and time just got away from him. Martha didn't make it through the following winter. One night when she was up late coughing and wheezing from a lingering chest cold, she was beaten to death by a pair of teenagers who thought it'd be fun to be serial killers. Their dreams were never to come true either, as they were caught that night. Martha's neighbor had a spaniel named Mortimer who had wanted to lick himself. But Mortimer always got put off. If any humans were awake, it was 2 a.m. and that old woman's light was on. So he woke his master up by tugging on his stocking feet. Mortimer never did get back around to pleasuring himself. He was run over by the police who had arrived to arrest the teenage murderers. Mortimer didn't die outright. His spine was injured, and he had to drag himself around with a wagon to get his master to assist him whenever he pooped, which was a lot. What are you writing about now? The first time I ever tried to be human, I failed. I'm going to serve you next. What would you like to drink? I'm a banana sitting on a bar stool. What do you think? Pina colada? Here you go. Freshly made. Has it got any me in it? Nope. What well, does now? Oh, that's disgusting. Get out of here, banana. Do the dispatch voice. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pardon me. Is this place open? I am a rabbi.
These are my friends. A Catholic priest and a Mexican atheist. Ah, oh, look. That yellow fellow at the bar reminds me of my time as an altar boy. I should say so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Coming through. <coughs> Coming through. My apologies, but I do not see anyone. <coughs> I'm down here. <coughs> You're a mushroom? Right you are, Jack. <coughs> What is a mushroom doing in a bar? I just lost my job. And my wife just left me. Bartender, stop me off with three shots of your cheapest tequila. Well, <laughs> he sounds like a fun guy. I'm afraid not! Hello. Where did that come from? Down here. Oh, wow. You're like 11 inches tall. Best piano player around. Well, this is fantastic. Everybody who tries to play that thing hits all the keys with one fingertip. Well, get me a whiskey sour. I'm here to play that thing. Let's call it that thing. <laughs> I think this place is great. Who was that? <laughs> Me. I'm the priest. Where are you? <laughs> are you shorter than the penis? Why, I'm right here, gorgeous. Oh, shit. I need to slow down on these coladas. The peanuts are talking to me. There's no peanuts in a pina colada. <laughs> Ow. I just walked into a bar. ring a ding a ding a ding Telephone. Hello? Punchline! Punchline who? Oh wait, I fucked up! I'll call again! That's a long last name. Oh! A chicken! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I don't know if you edited out one of the jokes or whether... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's my line. Yeah. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have said, Hi, this is the punchline. Please state your premise, and we will present you with the perfect punchline. What the hell way are you talking about, Catholic priest? The punchline is like a hotline for comedians. Who don't know how to finish a joke. I am become flummoxed. <laughs> Why must I keep walking into this bar? Why? Hey, everybody. Look my way. Who is speaking? Jehovah? I am Jewish. I am Jewish. Hello? Shalom? I respect all the differences, my friend. Not me, man. I think you're all crazy. Oh, Rabbi, it's our friend, the Mexican atheist. I forgot he was here. Yeah, no kidding. It's like, if someone isn't yapping like an idiot, they don't exist. However, I must say, you have been very respectful when others speak. Maybe there is something to be learned from this. Speaking of being respectful of others, 
I think our bartender friend would like us all to go. And so the Catholic priest, the rabbi, the Mexican atheist, a tiny penis, a possible peanut, a banana, afraid not, a mushroom, a man who walked into a bar twice, a therapist who was cut out in the rewrite, and the mute invisible man walked out of a bar. And the bartender locked up and did the books. <laughs> Look at Alice Louis C.K. Can you take care of my hamster? Are you going on vacation? For a week or so. I'm following Starman to Bangladesh. You're following the star man. Rumor keeps it in a squat blue armchair. He will need to visit Blanched Potato Grill in order to retrieve the Holy Chive. I've never heard of that, but it sounds marvelous. It's a restaurant in Bangladesh. Quite good reviews online. George Harrison never mentioned it. It opened in 2003. Dev Patel never mentioned it either. Dev Patel is British. So, thought when you said are you going? Dave Patel. <coughs> okay, sorry. So. When are you going again? Did you say? Probably tomorrow, but maybe 1942. It's all such a mess right now with Terry and the mole. I should probably grow a new hat for the fever children. But mother took all of the pie pans. I have some pie pans. The hamsters are eating my patchouli. Is, is that normal? Dude, did you just leave? We are bigger than... <laughs> <laughs> we are bigger than eyebrows. You're a hamster. I am Unseely Dave. <laughs> Do you think I'm... <laughs> Do you think I'm Gaya. sexy? All of you hairless people tingle my downstairs. It's like you go around naked all the time. <laughs> I'm going to put you in my butt and make love to my cat. Get your dear. That sounds delightful. But I just got out of a relationship and I'm not ready for anything that involved. Would you mind if I just filmed? Yes. Popcorn oil on my shirt. Oh, Pepsi in my hair. I got knocked out. Talking in the movie theater. Look here, right? I got this cat, right? Yeah, that's your cat. Don't interrupt me, right? Anyway, right? He got this ear thing, right? He, she, whatever. You don't know what your cat is? Don't matter what it is, is he? Right. So I had to lob it at this vet, right? You threw your cat at a veterinarian? Don't get all caught up in the specifics or whatever. Anyway, cat lobbed it, vet. Got a thing in his ear. Vet tells me. Put his stuff in his ear, right? Sounds like a thing to do. Long story short, I got two cats. Say he's a cat. Have a cat. I don't know how you got there, but all right. I'll take both cats if you want. I'm kind of afraid of what you might do to 
This is mine! You're not gonna lob it at anyone, are you? Oh, I might! Right now it needs to lob it some food! It's hungry, right? I have cat food. I always have cat food. Am I Krishna? <laughs> right? What is even going on? My cat had an ear infection. I took it to the vet. He gave me some drops to put in my cat's ear. No, I have two cats. Do you want a cat or not? I want to relieve you of any available cats. Hey, well, Krishna! Right! I'll just leave. Have a great day! Right! You walk down the stupid street. Stupid people here and there. Looking at him with their stupid little eyes. My, were they also very, very stupid. Hey, smart person. Huh? Alagaluvadanga Marina. Don't play foreigner with me, buddy. Give me cash. Ubrama, Ubrama Valise. No, you don't. Get over here. The Punk Thug Mugger Hugged Dude Part 2 and wrestled him into the shadows of an alley. No, Bream Nikaj. You don't have any money. No, but I have feelings. And beautiful eyes. Do you have a cat? Do I? The wrestling took an unexpected turn. And this story of a man seeking feline companionship suddenly turned to a man finding mugger companionship. After a surprise roll in the alley, all that was left was the wedding. Chain yourself to this person metaphorically and promise to act like they share your priorities and expectations and if they don't, you will passive aggressively make them miserable until they want to die. Absolutely. And do you promise to live with this person and share all their assets and only allow yourself to dream about a better life with almost anyone else in the universe, living or dead, but then feel deeply shameful for doing so? Oh, yeah. Great! Then now, for some reason, everything's different. Conservation! Look at all the wrinkles in your big fat face. Well, I was stomping my goat the other day. Near the padlock of that weirdo. You know the one. Pile of damn it, full of shit and Jim Jam. She was driving into one of her holes again. Girl needs to get eight. Back in the day, we used to sleep with girls like that. Better watch out pretty guacamole or it might get sucked up into a butt cheek. Weirdo would probably like that. She wooed the little fedora. I say it's time to call in the sword parade. I'll call the tamale team. Well, Zeus testicles. We haven't had to call them out in ages. Yeah, but we have an excess of sheep this year since we built the world's largest labia. Well, people love to come see that. Especially Horatio. He's a jaunty guy. It's so extra. If he would drink motor oil. Yeah, but his blue deer keep this town afloat. Ah, oh, fuck. Here comes Mrs. Evaluating on a hammer herself. <laughs> well, then, there, hey, now, if it ain't old Fawcett and George, how are you boys doing? Well, we're doing fine, Mr. Jam Jam Jam, ma'am. Oh, yeah, I mean, yes, ma'am. We're doing mighty fine. Just doing our part to keep this fine town soiled. Nice and soiled for you, Mr. Jam Jam. 
Mrs. Vulva Jim J, ma'am. Well, then, there now, you'll just see that you do. You boys have yourselves a mighty fine road on today. I'm going down to the food rockers now. Anything I can get you, boys? Oh, no, no, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Jam Jam. Well, then, uh, now you all have yourselves a red erect day. Bye, Mrs. PVJ. I hate that deal over fit. Oh, wait, sorry. <clears throat> I thought I was telling her that. I hate that dildo fish. <laughs> You've been crying in such a sad disgrace. Then in that game and beat your little babe. So, we'll put up the thing and there'll be a big sign up above. And you say, the ocean is made out of tacos. And then there'll be words. Is this my movie that you're trying to... I don't like this. It's not a good idea. It's a... No. Okay. Boring. Instead of a sign, it'll be in a fire station. No, no, a police department. I hate cops. They make me nervous. And they get drunk a lot. I hate True. drunk people. I, I like something where there's no authority and everyone just beats the shit out of each other and there's a lot of blood and it and we get real excited because everyone's dying oh that's a great idea i could kill lots of people if i really wanted to okay so we'll hire a bunch of actors but we'll actually plan on murdering them and it'll be great and we can film it, and then we can watch it later and take our clothes off. What are you talking about? Oh. Well, that would be an interesting show for people to look at on the screen! So, I mean, we can get lots of things to murder them with. Like, um, guns and poisons. And connections. <laughs> you, you sound very apathetic. I don't like that part. All right. I mean, where the person murders. So then, how they then they don't care anymore. They leave the police department and they're outside, and it's dark. So there's like a black screen. It's scary. And then, and then something jumps out and eats one of them. And there's dead bodies everywhere. And weird sounds and blood. And it's, it's really fun and I like it. Yes! Yes, I want that! <laughs> Alright. And then you're, you're in solitary confinement. For an unspeakable crime. So I'm going to speak of it. So what you do. What you did. Is. You ate yourself. Imagine movies to fill the time. You ate yourself. It's both suicide. Homicide. And cannibalism. It's amazing. It's insane. I don't think it will make it on the mainstream media. Do something completely different. Okay. So then the guy, he's like, um, um, I don't know how to get to that house. And, and, and then, and then there's like a movie and he's telling the other guy about it. And, and there's like a, a big sign. 
in the words over the sign and it comes on. No, no that's not gonna work. I don't, I don't like any of that. It's just stupid. And then, and then there's this other guy and he's making a skit about the guy talking about the sign. And there's two guys this... thinking while they're saying this stuff that nobody's ever gonna hear well, it because they're just gonna delete I, I it think after they record this is a it. Terrible idea. This whole thing was a terrible idea. I don't okay. like any of it. Howard Johnson's is a place that I go in my time machine. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. In my time machine. Jenny, this chili is kind of sweet. Did you put a special ingredient in it? I like that song. That's how I did it. That's a line. Okay, just remember that's the <laughs> character that runs through the entire script. Say, <laughs> man. Ground human. Say, man. A ground human. Water human. Ali Abjin. Pardon. You think you'd do. Silda, why don't you go back to second grade and learn how to talk? I knew how to talk long before school. Mm. Okay, Dumbo, try this applesauce. That's really good. I know. Wait a minute. Are the grapes in this? Apes. Applesauce. I'm going to win the contest because I make special food. Yeah, I know what kind of contest you come and they don't do well. Silda, just set out my samples and stop trying to talk. You're not very good at it. Mmm, it's Ginny's Chili. This is always a treat. Thank you, Jug Tansy. I expect you have worked out a perfect new recipe this year. You know I have. I've been perfecting it since last September. Oh, yes. September. Good month for chili. Great chili. Ho, <laughs> ho. You'll have to wait and see our final scores. You better not fudge these up for me, seal the twin. Jenny, I would never massage the poo. Just don't touch any of my food. I have to win this contest. Now go put weird things in the other contestants' stuff. <laughs> that was her wandering away. Mm -hmm. uh. Always following her around. Why don't I just go and do something for myself? I can make my own pies. Uh, is that you, Silda? I didn't know you made pies. <laughs> Bovely blank and sap. Would you like to try my chili? Aku. Isn't it fun to stick? Ooh, I'm so weird. Sometimes I get my words all jumbled up. Does that ever happen to you, Zelda? All the term put. Only when a two pe people are around. Run. Ooh. I have so much in common. Jenny has Popple in her chaluk. What are you starting to mean, Sulta? John who has humming bangs in her chaluk. Juno, huge ham and bellies and hot cheese. Jam a pot salmon into our child. 
Pot salmon and a chop. Should I put salmon in a chop? John John the wizard eating shed. Pippo Poo John said, no, no. Guacamole fruit bangs. Oh, the joke. He's talking more chalk. The winner. <clears throat> the winner is Jenny for her human semen chili. Never fails. I can never deny my craving for the taste of dead naval soldiers. I want a moon time, moon chill, summer time. A matu, I like to chow. All I poop. With a person wants a lunch and then Schweitzer said that. Sometimes I think you're in love with Albert Schweitzer. Who is Albert Schweitzer? Oh, I thought I was talking to Lou. What were we talking about? Popcorn. Oh, right. So I was over at Mad Mitch's place and we were watching a movie. It's not a bad movie, but I said something about making popcorn. And Mitch agrees it's a good idea, but when I bring two bowls of her, he just glares for a minute and then... <coughs> this is fantastic. But then he... <coughs> Mad Mitch... <coughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? Genius. Excuse me. Wayne Gretzky. Out of my way, in Thig. What are you doing here, Wayne Gretzky? What are you doing with my friend? Uh, I'm collecting his body. Why? Because it's my job. Why is your hockey stick all pointy? It's not a hockey stick. It's a scythe. Would, would you like to see my SeaWorld photo album? I would love to see that. Yes. It's over here. I keep it on my piano. Ah. Oh, do you look at it while you play? I don't know how to play. Th then why do you have a piano? It was here when I bought the place. Has have you ever seen a body crushed by a piano? No. Here's the album. Oh, this is lovely. Would you like a beverage? Do you have holy tea? I have a variety of juleps. Do you have any holy tea? I have tea. Ooh, is this Shamu? It's a Shamu. I like the way you caught the innards. I like the way you caught the innards plooping under this dude's head. His face is all like, Wah, get them off of me. Oh, no. <laughs> is that in one of the pictures? Yeah. Right here. See? Oh. That's not my picture. Where did this come from? I'm sure I wouldn't know. Well, if it isn't yours, may I keep it? It's very interesting. Um, you can do whatever you... Yes, please take it. I don't, I don't know how it got into my album. You, you don't seem sure. You're sure you're okay that we have it? I'm just confused. I need something to drink. Would you like some tea? Do you have any holy tea? I've never heard of holy tea. 
Oh, wait, here's some. Holy tea? You have holy tea? No, wait. That's how Holbrook. The year was 1835, and I had just published my story, The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. Under its original title, Jim Smiley and his Jumping Frog. No, I don't want that. I, I should get back to work. Oh, what is it that you do? I serve imitation human sandwiches to reformed cannibals. We're all crazy and we like it that way. Why was sad? What was that, failed guest? Shh, I'm narrating. Narrating what? Zombies advancing, two o'clock. I'm recording my life story. Why? What have you done with that was so special? We lived through an actual zombie pandemic. We set up a new civilization. People should know firsthand what we've been through. Hey, that's a brilliant idea, fellow guys. I guess the rest of us are just too busy shooting zombies and making sure the compound is secure. I'm just talking into a tape recorder. I can still do things. Meanwhile, your mind is on what adverb to put with your simile and which punctuation symbols to use. What is that in your hair, Yomli? <laughs> Guts. I've been blasting zombs while you mumble into a machine. Hang on. Where did you get a tape recorder? This guy's a mess. Mm -hmm. Do you have batteries? There's nothing in it, Barnwell. It's just a mental device to help me remember later when I'm actually able to write it down. <laughs> You're a mental device. Zomb! Well... Blood mixed in its hair like some chaotic die job. That shit is gonna get us killed. Hi guys, you in there? Hello? This one spoke to us. Could it have just been a messed up human? Huh? Who is that? Failed Geist? Oh, hey there. Hi there, Failed Geist. I'm Ed Gahooly. Where are you? Are you inside the grocery store? Are you not a zombie? Ooh! Um, I don't like that term. Right now I'm workshopping livingly challenged. It's a zombie! Step back! What? Ah! My own life! How unfleeting it un is! The lovingly challenged zombie staggered back, clutching its head wound. For the moment, I must admit, as you measure, for the moment, I must admit, my heart sank. No, oh, fell guys. Sinking heart is the first symptom of zombism. I considered the words, but I was skeptical. That is, until my arm began to itch. When I rolled back my sleeve, I saw the bite. But when could this have happened? Oh, wait. That was me. You're a zombie? No, you were sleeping. And all I had was bean juice that morning. <laughs> <laughs> It was unfortunate that we decided to record this. 
It was unfortunate that Yalmuri had fallen into the zombs. As difficult as it was to do the right thing, I had to consider the needs of the living when I bashed his head in to save bullets. Oh, when you stick your face in my bottom, I get funny feelings, funny feelings, funny little penis feelings. By the jewel. The yerba has been prepared just the way Prince likes it. Deliver it to him, Amethyst Rosette. Deliver the yerba to Prince. Prince's yerba mate is ready to be poured. The cup of Prince awaits. Is this enough coffee for Prince? The cup of Prince is full. I'm alert for Prince. An alert for punch. An alert for punch. Mm, there is an alert for Prince. Soft robot. What alert is there for Prince to hear? Mysterious hooded figures have captured the soul of music. The soul of music was once kept secure within the Museum of Sound. It has now been captured by mysterious hooded figures. Violet Jewel, retrieve my crimson pterodactyl. We must fly toward the Museum of Sound and track down the soul of music. Hither, Corby. Um, to Prince, you must now hither. 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 On the majestic shores of Principia, three hooded figures load the soul of music onto a waiting ship. I never would have thought it would be this easy. It was just sitting on display. This thing is heavy. It's a soul of music, Roger. It's burden is great. All on board. Let's go. <laughs> Hiding among the clouds. I got sealed to twin tinnitus. <sighs> Hiding among the clouds, glid Prince on his crimson pterodactyl. Cast your sight downward, Corvey. Some of those books I had an accent. Nope, there. not English. Nope. <laughs> Cast your sight downward, Corvey. The hooded figures. And that must be the soul of music. The soul of music is aboard that ship. Now they are rowing away. Wrong. It would not be wise to descend upon them just yet. Let us observe where they are taking it. Then we may fly back and get our friends to help. Good idea, Corvy. Just stay up here in the clouds so those mysterious hooded figures cannot see us. Corby and Prince watched from the clouds while the hooded figures made their way to the Isle of Queen Aria. There a black fortress stood stark against the night sky. Once on land, the hooded figures carted the soul of music into the throne room. Your Majesty, we have brought you the soul of music. <laughs> oh shit. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what is his voice? Oh, he no. can't sing everything. Crowley! I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with his soul in a box? Must I eat it or inhale? 
Oh no! It come no with instructions! And we trust him! Or it's just a box! Or it's the soul of music inside! And we will bestow us with greatness! We never dreamed of all our lives! I don't know, Freight! <laughs> Have you touched it? Have you partaken of its power? No, I'm not, Frey. You wouldn't fuck me, would you, Brian? Would ye? Would you ever fuck me? No, I know the more respect for you, Frey. I'll show you respect. Holy shit, Freddy. You just shot Brian May. I'm all right. Throw caught him, boy. No! I can't believe it. Come on, guys. Why don't you give... Why don't we give love one more chance? I'll give you another chance. Oh, thank you very much. Yet high over Queen Arya's skies. Corvi, look. The thieves are falling out. Let us swoop down and retrieve the soul of music. Come on, Fred. Don't shoot Roger Taylor. You don't have no protective frog. Oh, I just don't even know what it is I can do anymore. <laughs> That's a beautiful singing voice. It is. Yes. <laughs> Speaking is weird. Little weird, Freddy. What's got you so worked up? I'm adopted! While Queen was distracted, Corby snatched the soul of... Did you not know it was Queen? That was Queen. Yes. While Queen was distracted, Corby snatched the soul of music in his talons. No! They've got the soul! Prince! Prince! Soon they will know who Prince is. And so Prince returned the soul of music to the Museum of Sound. Is everything perfect again in the land of Principia? Absolutely it is, Amethyst Rosette. Perfect once again. <laughs> oh, Corvi. A listener, a soul think of me, take a move, take a move, take a 